Hi fellows and Happy New Year 2021! I am very glad to announce you Iliad Year 6 is finally available for Unreal Engine 426. Just like the version 425, it's been a long and a tough development process, but we made it and we're sure you will appreciate the result. So let's see what's new in Iliad Year 6. Let's cut the suspense. It is a module that allows you to paint in your level on static meshes. You activate Iliad mode in Unreal Engine toolbar, you select the mesh and have fun! In this module, you will find the same panels as in Iliad Texture Editor, such as Brush Selector, Brush Parameters, Color Wheel, Stroke Options, Layer Stack and Utils. This feature should help you to edit easily your props on a level. You can also use it to write notes for you and your coworkers. You can paint 2D landscapes or you could also use it as a guide for your animations. Plus, this new feature will also allow Praxinos to explore new possibilities, including the capacity to make storyboards. Subscribe this channel if you want me to talk about it later in a video. As you know, at Praxinos, our purpose is to create a 2D animation software powered by Unreal Engine. And a good way to start with this is to look at what already exists in Unreal, the flipbook. However, the flipbook is just a timeline where you can drag and drop sprites and change some settings like the size of the sprite or the duration of each frame. You cannot draw on them. But now, thanks to Iliad, this is possible. You can create and edit flipbooks by opening a dedicated interface. It is almost identical to the classic Iliad texture editor, expect you will find the timeline at the bottom. This feature can be used to make any type of animations, such as 2D effects, props being hit, characters. Surprise us and don't forget to post the result on our Discord server. There was a big improvement regarding the texture management, including uh, channel depth or color models, mip maps, and compression settings, for instance. Plus, when you create a texture, you will have the possibility to choose the color model and the channel depth. Uh, we even succeeded to implement a texture detail panel, just like the one you will find in the default texture editor. I would like to draw your attention about the fact that now Iliad won't force the mip map to change, so it can give you the feeling that the live update is broken. Actually, it's not. You will just have to modify the mip map settings to no mip map. A ton of enhancements have been brought to the Odyssey brushes in Iliad 06, uh, starting by the entail getting and the subpixel management. Anti-aliasing will prevent blurry, ugly, pixelized stroke, uh, which is especially needed for tools like pen brushes. Strokes will also work in subpixel, which means you will get a great smooth line irrespective to the canvas zoom ratio. Also, Odyssey brushes Brooklyn have changed a lot. Some nodes have been replaced by other ones like Fill Prozovafa, which becomes Fill Block with Color. There are also more nodes to manage blends, to convert formats according to the channel depth and color models, to create blocks and recite them, and you can even create text brush based on font assets. The other side of the coin is all your personal brushes made in older Iliad versions won't work anymore. You will have to update them. Plus, you can assign shortcuts in your brushes. For instance, if you create a brush using various stamps and you need to call one specific stamp, you will just have to map a key and hold that key to call this stamp. It will also work to resize the brush, change its alpha or blending mode, to rotate it. Well, possibilities are almost endless. Many tiny enhancements have been made into Iliad 6 to make your experience better. For instance, many issues caused by Tablet ABI have been fixed. Plus, we added a whole new batch of shortcuts to clear your current image layer, use float fill, increase decrease your brush size, or switch between an equivalent of eraser and brush mode. Obviously, I will record a whole new batch of videos to replace the old ones, especially the ones uh, talking about blueprints because they will be outdated with Iliad 6. Plus, I will create also new videos to explain more deeper the new features. Plus, an update of the user guide is in progress. It should be available in a couple of weeks. I would like to thank my teammates for the incredible work they did for Iliad 6. Especially, I would like to thank Toma, who've been working on the drawing viewport editor for nine months, Eric, who gave him a strong end at the end and also managed to create the flipbook editor and fixed most issues related to the texture settings, 
Mike who posed his secret project to create the nodes dedicated to the font assets to make text brushes, and Fabrice who had to pass over 75 Odyssey brushes, the default ones, to make sure they will be working on Iliad 06. Don't forget Iliad is a free plugin, and even if we had a mega grant, all finance won't last forever. If you like our work, you can support us on Patreon and get an exclusive pack of brushes every month. Mentioning Patreon, we would like to thank Chika Wawo, Iger Chief and Dustin for being our most faithful supporter. Thank you for watching this video, take care of you and your loved one, and don't forget to make great art with Iliad. Bye!